falling in love with a married man, do's and don'ts. Hello, my name is Greta Berishide, dating and relationship coach for women. And for best videos, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video every Wednesday and Sunday. So ladies, I know how you feel, okay? He is, let's see, handsome, charming. He told you everything what you want to hear and he's done it so smooth that it went straight into your heart. You felt connection and oh my God, you feel like you have never felt this way before. But there is just one problem. He is married. However, you had this conversation and he told you the truth, but then he said, you know, like me and my wife, we don't, don't get on anymore. She always snacks and complains. I am with her just for the kids. It, she's crazy. If I will break up with her, she might jump off the bridge and, you know, I'm too scared to do that. Or we just live together. We sleep in separate beds. We don't get on. I want to leave her. I want to get a divorce soon. The chemistry is not the same. And just like whatever else that he has told you. Now, if he was looking straight into your eyes and you were having the vibration and connection and the physical attraction while he was telling you this information, even though you're trying to be logical, the emotions are taking over because you feel like you're falling for him, right? So ladies, let's talk about the do's and don'ts. What happens when you fall in love with a married man? Let's start with the don'ts. The don'ts. Ladies, you know, a person who is a charming character, he's not a charming character just to you. He is a charming character to everyone else as well. He has worked a lot on being a seductive, charming character. The things that he is telling you, for example, me and my wife are not sleeping into the same beds anymore, we don't have sex, we staying there just for the kids, you're so amazing, so beautiful, wow, you're so wonderful. If I would have met you 10 years ago, I would have never married my wife, I would have married you on a spot. You know, ladies, this is all charms, this is all words. He has told this stuff to the other girls before. Before. Why? Because he is, for whichever reason, bored of his wife and is looking for a side chick for a bit of entertainment. Now, think about it logically. How will he make you into a side chick if he will be telling you the truth? If he'll say, look, my wife does everything for us. My wife takes care of my kids. My wife is wonderful. She is so giving. She's so caring. But I'm such a that I want to cheat on her because I'm bored and I'm looking for the entertainment. Would you sign up for this if he would tell you a bare truth just like that? No, of course you would not. So what he needs to do if he wants that entertainment, he needs to come up with a logical strategy that women get hooked on. At the same time, though, not every single woman gets hooked on the strategy. A lot of girls are logical and we have values and morals and we knew what's wrong and what's right. So he is specifically looking for a naive, gullible and desperate one that will fall into this trap. Ladies, men play games. They play a lot of games, especially guys who are successful and know how to sell themselves. This stuff for them actually comes really natural because that's what we do with their business. You need to be a charismatic character to get people to like you. So when you nail at these skills, you literally apply it to the dating scene and it works like magic. Because of the games, I literally just created a package for sale where I'm sharing all the games that men play on women. And you can actually get that package in my video description down below. The second don't is, ladies, if you will 
try and get with a married guy, I want you to think about it, no matter what he says. If he has a family, even if there is no kids, there is still a family. It's her side of friends, her side of family, his side of friends, his side of family. If they have kids, you are not just getting involved with a married man. You are getting involved with his side of the family her side of the family. By getting involved into this family, you are damaging and breaking the hearts, not just of wife, but of the kids as well. There is a huge picture involved behind the marriage. And to break up the whole family, to get involved in it as a side chick, just because you fell in love with a fantasy. <sighs> Seriously, girls, like, you know what I mean. So now, since we looked at the don'ts, let's look at the do's. Let's look at why you are finding this married man so attractive. So ladies, uh, girls who go for guys who have girlfriends or wives, girls who let themselves to be seduced by that person. And yes, ladies, the reason I say let yourself, because in all time, you are in control of yourself. You are in control of your behavior. You may not be able to control him, but you always are in control of your behavior. So if you let yourself to fall for him, you will fall for him. So if you are letting yourself to fall for a taken man, it's because somewhere deep inside, you don't see your own value and worth. And because you don't see your own value and worth, you are acting desperate then we make our decisions based on desperation. This is how we fail in life. This is how we make the biggest mistakes. If you are in a situation where you feel like you're getting hooked or falling for a married man, I would really recommend you to get my ultimate self-love course, which is 70% off in the video description below. If you're choosing to fall for someone who is taken, you are showing to yourself and others that you don't have enough of self-love. A woman who really, really loves herself, she wouldn't even flirt with a married guy for one second. And this is how she would set a boundary, therefore a married guy would never chat her up because he would see that she is not naive or gullible. However, when he flirts with you and you flirt with him back, for a few minutes he gets the green light. Oh, naive and gullible. Not many values, morals or self-respect, not much of self-love. Therefore, he gets a green light to go for her as potentially he can make her into a side chick. It is the key points that I want you to understand from this video are first, if you are falling for a married man is you do not have enough of self-love. You do not see yourself as a queen, as a diamond. You are going for him because in some way or the other, you're feeling desperate. Therefore, what you need to do is learn how to love yourself first so you don't put yourself in such ridiculous situations in the future. The second point, ladies, people play games. Men, women, everyone plays games. In order not to be manipulated by the people who play the games, you need to have all the knowledge of the games and understand it as only when you have the knowledge and understand it, you will not let anyone to manipulate you. You will see everything not in fantasy colors, but in clear reality colors. 
And when you see everything how it is, everything real, this is when you will be able to make your decision on who is a cool guy and who is a guy who just plays games and tags you along. For this, as I said, you need to know the games as, as only when you know it, you understand how it's done. You know what is the right way to respond to it. You do not get manipulated or used in life, such as being a side chick. So ladies, if you like this video, please press like. Let me know in the comments below what do you think. If you would like to know are you high value or low value woman, take my free test, which is in the video description box below. Join Greta's High Value Woman School, where we are all in the same boat, learning how to be a woman of high value and bring out the best in our men. Follow me on my Instagram. My Instagram is called Ladies Relationship Coach. And for one-on-one -on -one or group coaching, please book me through my website, which is called Ladies Relationship Coach. And then get in touch with me over WhatsApp, as that is where I coach. Thank you so much for watching, ladies. Kisses from London. Mwah.